Hosea chapter 3, verse 1. Then the Lord said to me, go again, Hosea. What? Go find her. Love this woman who's loved by a lover and is right now committing adultery. Go find her, Hosea. Go find her. Look what's after the comma. Just like the love of the Lord for Israel. I love her. Now where it says Israel, it means Israel, but it also prophetically speaks of God's love for the whole world. Go find her again. This this is like my love for the children of Israel who look to other gods and love the raisin cakes of the pagans. In other words, they like the things that society stuff possessions that the world offers. They're trying to find love and meaning and purpose in that. Go, go, go find her. Boy, that must have been a heart-wrenching process. As you go looking for your wife who was a former prostitute who's now back into prostitution, where do you go looking for her, friends? How messy is that search? How painful is that pursuit? As he walks the streets, streets, everyone says you don't go to those neighborhoods. Men of God should never be seen in those places and buildings. But here's Hosea looking for who? His wife of all people. Going on in verse 2, he continues to write, so I bought her. I bought her for myself for 15 shekels of silver and one and one half homers of barley. Wait, 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 wait. She's your wife, Hosea. She's already yours. What was the scene like as Gomer's back in the sex slave industry? What are the chances? Does Gomer find her on some pedestal somewhere, chained and shackled, naked, being sold to the highest bidder? Hosea there sees his wife, the mother of their three children, and Hosea looks at her and says, excuse me, sir, that's my wife. He goes, sir, I don't care who you think she is. This is her price. But I, okay, what's the price? And he pays for what is already his. The Bible says, I hope you understand, Hosea is a picture of God, and no offense, you and I are a picture of Gomer. The Bible says the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Mankind is the unique possession of the Creator God. And yet, 2,000 years ago, he paid a dear price. He paid for what he already possessed. And he sent his son who spilled his blood to purchase back what he already owned. How much? Hosea gets the money. What was that exchange like when Hosea looked in the eyes of his wife? No doubt she hung her head in embarrassment. He's found me. I've abandoned him. I've abandoned our three kids. And yet he insists on buying me. Buying me. These other men sought to buy her, to use her. Hosea seeks to buy her, to heal her. It says in verse 4, For the children of Israel shall abide. Now, now this is where Hosea shifts in, and he starts speaking prophetically. This This is really no longer about him and Gomer. It's about something that is to come. It's about something bigger. Verse 5, afterward, afterward, there's going to come a season. He didn't know it would be 750 years, but it would. There would be no king. It would be difficult. It would be unclear. It would be challenging. But then the children of Israel shall return and seek the Lord their God and David their king. And then notice what it says. They shall fear the Lord. Now, Israel and Judah knew what it was to fear the Lord. And by fear, I mean terror. Under the old system of relating to God, there was terror, terror. 
because God, they were unable to keep his commands, the Ten Commandments, and there was judgment and there was wrath. But there will come a day, he prophesies. There will come a Messiah, and he will finally satisfy and appease the wrath of God. And the fear of the Lord in those days will be in awe of his goodness in the latter days. <laughs> the fear of the people will not be of terror. It will be the in awe of his graciousness towards humanity. Hosea just bought Gomer even though she was already his. This is the picture of the gospel. Salvation completes the work in spite of her sins, in spite of her doings, in spite of running away. And then he stands and says, and there will come a day a King David will rise. And in those days they will fear his goodness. These are the days that we live in. Our Hosea has come. Salvation has come, and he found you, and he found me, and he had to walk to the most despicable places, and he had to uh, uh, communicate and, and be around sinful, broken humanity. Don't you see, as Hosea searched for his wife, so Jesus came searching for the salvation of humanity. And by the way, when God found you, you were not so neat and nice and put together. You were in chains and you were naked and you were sinful and so was I. And our gracious God said, how much? How much? The blood of your son. For then and only then can they, humanity, avert the wrath and justice that is rightfully on their heads. Very well. Very well. I'll send my son.